morning. I am Devi Sena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about interworking objectives and the requirements of WVANs and WLANs. That is wireless wide area networks and wireless local area networks. Let us see the types of wireless networks and a representation. In this diagram, we are having WPAN that is wireless personal area network. Then we have WLAN that is wireless local area network. Then we have WMAN that is wireless metropolitan area network. Then we have WWAN that is wireless wide area network. We are going to discuss about interworking objectives and the requirements of wireless wide area network and wireless local area network. Before that, we are going to discuss about wireless wide area network. Wireless wide area network is a form of a wireless network. The larger size of a wide area network compared to a local area network requires difference in technology. Wireless networks of different sizes deliver data in the form of telephone calls, web pages, and video streaming. Networking representation. In this diagram, we are going to see the computer networks connecting a representation. Here, in this diagram, we are seeing how the modem, that is modulator and demodulator, connects the devices, that is the home appliances and the other stay devices in a Wireless Wide Area Network WWAN. Yeah, WWAN often differs from wireless local area network by using mobile telecommunication cellular network technologies such as 2G, 3G, 4G, LTE that is long term evolution and 5G to transfer data. It is sometimes referred as mobile broadband. These technologies are offered regionally, nationwide, or even globally and are provided by a wireless service provider. WWAN connectivity allows a user with a laptop and a WWAN card to surf the web, check email, or connect to a virtual private network that is VPN from anywhere within regional boundaries of cellular service. Various computers can have integrated WWAN capabilities. Internet connection representation is given here. In this, the information is available in the internet. Through the modem, it reaches the devices. That is a laptop, a poor computer and other devices. It is indicated in this diagram. Wide area network representation is shown here. In this, the wide area network is connected to the local area network through the internet. Here is an another representation of a local area network. Through the wireless router or switch, the clients have been connected. The clients may be a personal computer or a laptop or the other devices. The wireless switch or router is connected to the server. It is indicated here. Local area network representation is shown here. Through the router or a wireless switch, the laptop or computer or printer have been connected. It is indicated here. Here is another animation that gives the connection between the devices and the internet through the router. Another representation of wireless wide area network is shown here. With the help of the repeater tower, the signal reaches the mobile TV phone. It is indicated here. Another representation of wireless wide area network. In between the PC and the internet, a base station and base switching center is available through the 
packet switched domain or the circuit switched domain the internet or the uh, telephone network is being connected here is another representation of the wireless wide area network a wireless wide area network is a specific type of network that sends wireless signals beyond a single building or property by contrast a local area network or lan connects computers and other hardware pieces inside a residential or commercial property wireless wide area networks and wireless local area networks also differ in the types of signal processing technologies they use while local area networks often rely on ethernet twisted pair cabling or short range wireless routers a wireless wan may use various types of cellular network systems to send the signals over a longer distance large telecom providers like t mobile sprint verizon and at&t typically support a wireless wan in one way or another and these larger types of networks often require some types of encryption or security that a local area network may not need interworking objectives and the requirements of wlans and wans one of the principal objectives of interworking is to allow independent evolution of 3gpp that is wlan and wlan standards the extent of interdependence between these standards should be minimized or localized at the point of interconnection support for the legacy wlan user is perhaps the most important objective of a 3gpp wlan interworking setup a legacy wlan user is a user with a wlan capable device and a subscription to 3gpp services the user may or may not be 3gpp capable such a user should be able to access 3gpp services without substantial hardware or software upgrades such a setup would result in a strong business case leading to extend the facility of 3gpp services to the user who although having a 3gpp subscription but does not want to spend it on additional hardware or software upgrades the other objective of interworking is the single subscription requirements of wlans and wans common billing and customer care is the first requirement the second requirement is 3gpp based access control and charging the third requirement is access to 3gpp based packet switched services fourth requirement is service continuity and the fifth requirement is access to 3gpp circuit switched services the first requirement is common billing and customer care this is the simplest form of interworking that provides a common bill and customer care to the subscriber but otherwise requires no real interworking between the wlan and 3gpp data networks the second requirement is 3gpp based access control and the charging this requires authentication authorization and accounting for subscribers in the wlan to be based on the same aaa procedures used in the 3gpp data networks it means a mobile subscriber can use this or has subscriber identity module that are umts sim to access wlan services the third requirement is access to 3gpp based packet switched services the aim of this requirement is to allow the mobile operator to allow access to its 3gpp data services to subscribers in a wlan environment it means a mobile subscriber should be able to access a select 3gpp data services through the wlan access network 
Although the user is allowed access to the same 3GPP data services over both the 3GPP and the WLAN access networks. No service continuity across these access networks is required in this scenario. Fourth requirement is service continuity. The goal is to allow seamless service continuity across the 3GPP and the WLAN systems. It means that a user session during mobility across these networks should not only continue but also should not have noticeable service change in terms of quality and disruption. Fifth requirement is access to 3GPP circuit switched services. The goal of this requirement is to allow 3GPP operator to offer access to circuit switch services such as voice calls from the WLAN systems. Seamless service continuity is a must for these services. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.